Hello and welcome to um, the third video in our little hypnobirthing series. Um, in this video we're going to be talking about um, stopping negative stories for birth and promoting um, feeling positive and confident about your birth. Um, we're going to talk about a couple of things that you can do to prepare for labour and birth. Um, the main thing is going to be talking about perineal massage. Um, and we're also going to talk briefly about different areas of the hospital and what they offer as well. So firstly, I'm going to talk about negative birth stories um, and what lots of women preparing for labour and birth find is that um, everyone around them from the second that they get pregnant will suddenly start telling them all of these stories about when they had their baby. So when I had my baby, this happened and it was so awful. Not to mention that also um, everything in the media um, about labour and birth is all really, really dramatic. So scenes that you see on programmes or dramas always very much dramatises labour and delivery of babies and makes it really traumatic because we like watching things that are traumatic and we um, like things that are dramatic as well. Um, but what you often don't hear about is about a woman that's given birth calmly and really enjoyed their birth experience and this is something that we do see as midwives um, on a regular basis so I think it's really important um, to be able to think about labour and birth in a positive way and a way in which you can do this and you, you can start practicing this as early in pregnancy as possible is when someone starts telling you their story about when I had my baby this was really awful and this happened and it was absolutely horrific that you are able to think actually do I really need to hear this and you're able to feel confident enough to say actually can I just stop you there? I'd love to hear about anything if it's going to be positive, but I really don't need to hear about your negative birth stories because quite often what you find is that women will make their story a lot more dramatic than it actually is and they'll make it a lot more negative. So that's something that you can do to really um, try and enhance your birth experience um, and try and enhance your experience up to the birth of your baby to reduce that anxiety. And referencing in the last video there, um, also you can use your um, up breathing to try and calm yourself down after you have spoken to someone that started to give you a negative birth story. Um, so that's one thing that you can do to prepare for the birth of your baby from as early as possible. Um, another, there's another couple of things that you can do to prepare for the birth of your baby that are quite important that I'd like to talk about. Um, the first one is actually referenced in our infant feeding video, so I'm not really going to go through it very much, and that's um, antenatal hand expressing colostrum harvesting. Um, so if you do wish to breastfeed and you do want to stimulate your breast milk supply before delivery, um, and also it has been shown to try and um, bring on labour as well. From 36 weeks you may start to collect colostrum and this is covered in the breastfeeding videos. The second thing that I'm going to talk to you about is perineal massage. Now perineal massage as a woman can be something that you find quite uncomfortable. Um, it's not really something that's a natural thing and many people find it quite embarrassing to talk about and I think that's quite a fair comment to make really a lot of people find it quite a weird thing but it, it has been shown to prevent um, worse um, perineal tearing while you're having your baby and it actually does increase the elasticity of the skin um, and um, help um, your body stretch to deliver your baby. So at first I'm going to show you a diagram and it just um, demonstrates where you do perineal massage um, and um, on yourself. So um, your perineum is the area of skin between your anus and your vagina um, that stretches when you deliver your baby. So I'm going to show you this little diagram. 
here now. So that's the area that you're going to be massaging. So um, just a little demonstration of um, how well perineal massage works. So you're going to get your hands and you're going to put them together like this. See my hands like this, right? So that's a demonstration of just your hands normal. Now you're going to massage in between your hands with your thumb and your forefinger for about 30 seconds. So give it a really good hard massage, like really knead it. That's it. And now put your hands back together. And you can really see the difference just from that 30 seconds of massaging, how much your thumb can stretch slightly more. And if you do that to yourself, you'll be able to see the example of that as well. Um, so that's a really good example of why we do perineal massage and how much it can actually help. Um, there are a lot of online resources on how to do it and the best way to do it, but I will give you a brief overview of how you can do it now. So obviously um, during labor, the muscles of the perineum flatten and unfold. Um, so you can um, commence um, perineal massage from 36 weeks of pregnancy um, and you can use any unscented carrier oil or vegetable oil to do it with. So you can use um, almond oil um, and it's got to be unscented or olive oil or anything like that or coconut oil. Some people find um, very useful, but yeah, like I said, unscented because you don't want to upset the pH balance or anything like that. Um, just one thing to note, if you have any kind of infection or your waters have broken, it's contraindicated. So please don't do it if you've got group B strep um, or you've been told um, anything about any kind of infection down there. Um, so that's something that's really useful in the preparation up to your um, to having your baby. Um, some women find it um, helpful to do it sitting on the toilet because obviously it's quite hard to get there when you've got your um, pregnant um, tummy in the way. Um, some women like to get their partners to do it but I do appreciate that that's quite an uncomfortable thing for a lot of people so um, it's just whatever you feel comfortable with um, and what we will do is we'll post some links to some online resources um, for more information about perineal massage. So the next part of the video, I'd just like to quickly give an overview of um, the different areas of the hospital and um, what they offer. We do have um, some videos also about um, this in our other antenatal education videos. Um, but so we have the birth centre um, and in the birth centre, you can go down there if you're low risk. Um, the birth centre is run by midwives only. Um, and it has four labour rooms, three of which have birthing pools in and birthing pools can be really helpful to aid you with your hypnobirthing relaxation as well. Um, in the birth centre you may have the birthing pool, you can have aromatherapy um, and you can have um, the gas and air and the rooms are very much fit for purpose for an active birth and delivery. Um, and obviously, if at any point you're in the birth centre and you do decide you want an epidural or for any reason you need to be transferred up to labour ward, um, it's a, a building that's attached to the main maternity building um, and the transfer time is about three minutes up to labour ward. So it's very quick transfer should you wish to be transferred or should you need to be transferred for any medical reason. We also have a labour ward, which if you have any risk factors, um, you will need to deliver up on the labour ward. Um, the labour ward has a few birthing rooms, two of which we call home from home rooms, and one of which is also a pool room as well, if you're suitable to be able to have a pool delivery. Um, and obviously on labour ward, we have a full team of doctors. You can have all types of pain relief, um, so you can have an epidural if you wish to up there, but equally um, you can still have an active um, birth up on labour ward as well. And the midwives that work across the unit work everywhere. So we're all very familiar with all areas. So that's a little overview. Obviously I'd encourage that you watch the videos on um, 
the um, different areas of the hospital and preparing for to come into hospital. Um, but that was just a little overview from my point of view. Um, I will attach some positive birth videos for you to watch after this um, video at home. Um, and they're just a couple of examples of positive birth stories um, that will obviously go with um, your building your positive outlook for your positive labour and birth. Um, and they're obviously um, not what you see in the media and they're quite positive. Um, and um, nice births to watch to make you feel a little bit more comfortable while you're getting ready to have your baby.